My name is Andrew Petty, uh, born and raised in Sevierville, Tennessee, moved to Knoxville and started this business 11 years ago. Starting a business for me was a, felt kind of forced to in the way that I wasn't going to fit into anybody else's mold and kind of had the desire to create my own mold. And so we were a couple years into the Great Recession and then uh, started it in early spring 2010. To me, it was a move of, I'm going to create something where I can find a life and a sustainability, but not just completely destroy myself all the time. And that, that was part of the impetus to move. There's always been gobs of construction work in East Tennessee. We're, it's always booming all the time. We don't care if there's a recession. We don't care if there's a pandemic. There's work here all the time. We, we only got busier last year in 2020. Best year ever, and we only got busier. We, did, we never missed an hour, an hour's worth of work last year. Construction work, there's just, a, there's just a plethora of it, and there's always stuff getting broken, and we have a lot of rock uh, in our soils here. So I mean, you just got guys abusing equipment, tearing things apart. We work on a lot of heavy equipment, and that's kind of how I got started, and then it grew into the fabrication stuff we do now. We still have a heavy equipment wing, but we're doing a lot of shop fabrication, a lot of shop CNC work, you know, plasma cutting stuff. So it's kind of, it's kind of morphed over the years. I ground enough on heavy plate for year after year, 60 hours, 70 hours, 80 hours, 90 hours, whatever it was, day in, day out, to the point that I destroyed my wrist. And so carpal tunnel set in, I mean, losing sleep every night, and this stuff's stressful enough and hard enough on your body. If you're not resting well, you're gonna be destroyed. You stay in this trade long enough and you say, how can I make this easier on my body? Because like, you know, the, 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 your 20s, you know, the chest thumping stuff's gone. It's like, how do we do this just a little bit better? How do we do this smarter? It doesn't do anybody any good to kill your employees, to wear them out, and then expect them to perform day in and day out. So anything that makes it easier, that's why I'm a, a, a big fan of the flex arm is just, it takes some of the monotonous work, and there's a lot of boring work in production metal work, uh, it, it takes a lot of that monotonous work and it just makes it easier on the end user. And if you don't care about that, you shouldn't be in management. When we have a lot of parts to clean up and we're gonna run it through that flex arm, we bring the parts to the grinder where I think most shops are set up uh, you know, that grinder needs to be on a permanent base. So we've set up a small area around it that's flexible enough for a rolling table that now we bring all the parts to be ground to the grinder. Uh, you know, the main rework is just taking the parts to the grinder versus thinking about taking the grinder to the parts. I think that's where the flex kind of makes it is both. It's just, if you have a lot of repetitive grinding to do, a lot of stuff coming off a CNC table, a lot of stuff that needs weld prep. It's just, a, it's, a, it's a great thing to throw out there and make the job easier for your employee. Greg Bull from Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been working at Petty's Welder for about five years now. I really always had an interest in building as a kid and taking stuff apart, messing with my dad's tools. Uh, my dad was an engineer, so I was just always seeing how things work. And for a long time, I, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do. So I ended up going to the military, and in the military, that's where I got to play some explosives and that kind of stuff. Uh, but of course, I was playing with fire as a kid. But I got out of the military. I, I knew I wanted to do something hands-on, build stuff, make stuff, uh, something just always sort of had that passion for. I got a military master out of college for a little bit <clears throat> and then found out the local community college was doing a welding program that they had started. Decided to check that out and uh, applied for the school, started school and one of my first classes actually had a class with Drew. We sat beside each other, kind of got to know each other and uh, got to talk about the trades and welding and uh, how to get involved in it. So I'd learned that Drew was a business owner and here I was a green guy, uh, you know, just trying to get my career started. So I started picking Drew's brain enough to where he uh, decided to let me come start working with him. What I love the most about welding is probably just the, the necessity and versatility of it. Whether we're repairing roller coasters 100 feet in the air or in the basement of a giant building, you know, doing column work or something like that, all the way to building frames for automation and heavy equipment work and stuff like that. It's just you're never doing the same thing twice. I think my biggest challenge in welding was I couldn't get good fast enough. It was just like I couldn't learn fast enough. I wanted to. I want to get better as fast as I could, you know, learn as much as I could, as quick as I could. I just couldn't learn it quick enough. So for me, if anything, I was just, I get frustrated that I couldn't, you know, do it all and learn it all fast enough. I spend more hours grinding in the shop than I do any other process or using any other tool, hands down, absolutely. And man, the grinding, it'll, you know, starts wearing out your fingertips, feeling your hands, feeling your wrist, even in your shoulders, just from bearing down on the grinder and feeling that weight. Uh, there's, and there's absolutely been days where I've ground nonstop for days on end and uh, you, you feel it every day. The flex arm changed, it changed everything about grinding for me. It went from the most monotonous, boring, dreadful task to I actually kind of enjoy going to the flex arm and using the grinder some, just because I know that after I use it, I'm not gonna feel the pain that I always felt after using a grinder. 
and I can actually go home and enjoy doing some things I enjoy doing without thinking about my wrist hurting or having to take ibuprofen or something like that just to get through the rest of the evening. And uh, absolutely feel better. Just, yeah, just feeling better all around, you know, just helping the joints. Not feeling the vibration of the grinder has been a big one for me because even if you can tough through the, the joint pain and the ligaments and all that kind of stuff, so many hours it just it wears on you and it can be a little maddening to a sense. And I think it's worth investing in your personal health and your body and I think it's just a smart investment overall, you know, for just someone to have it in their shop. If you want longevity out of your career, want to continue doing what you love, then I think it's the investment to make.